Hey Sagittarius, welcome. Thank you for watching Tea's Tarot. Thanks for being here. So we are going to do your you versus them reading, your energy and theirs. You will be on this side, they will be on that side. Um, if you need to uh, switch positions, if you find that you're more um, energetically um, uh, feeling your energy on this side and theirs on that side, you take it as it resonates. You will know best. You know your story. Okay. I'm laying out the cards, intending your energy to be on this side. Okay. So uh, diving into you and your person's energy. Um, so all new subscribers, uh, the contest ongoing. Okay. All new subscribers for the month of May. Uh, it's automatically entered into a prize draw for a half an hour reading with me, T. So if you are a new subscriber for May, I will upload the video on the winner's uh, the beginning of June, there has been a winner for the last two months of subscribers. So thank you all for subscribing, liking the channel. I appreciate it. Um, also, the number 40th person to comment on any upload, okay, any video, number 40th person that comments will rent, win a free hour reading with me. Uh, everything's in the description box below, okay? So uh, there has been a winner for that. I will notify them as soon as possible shortly. Um take what resonates, leave the rest. If this isn't your story, um, don't make it fit. Also, please know it could be future oriented. Okay. So it could happen in June. Um, you know, the energy that, um, I pull up for you. Okay. Or just come back next week on T's Tarot and see what, uh, energy resonates. Also, when you do like the channel, not only does it help my channel grow, and I thank you for those likes, it puts your energy into the channel so that I can resonate with your energy. It really does happen that way. So um, we're going to get started. I think that's everything. Um, yeah. So let's dive into you and your person for Sagittarius energy. We're going to find out who you are thinking of. Who is this person on your mind, Sag? Um, who is this person? What is their energy? For May 2023, it's May 12th today. Happy Friday. Also, happy Mother's Day to those that are celebrating um, Mother's Day on Sunday. Um, shout out to all the moms, um, even if you're an aunt and, uh, you know, you're a mom. or are mom to pets, of course, you know. Um, you know, <laughs> happy Mother's Day. I was going to congratulate you. But yeah, congratulations on being a mom. If you're a new mom, of course. There we go. Okay. So maybe there is a new mom watching. And if you are, then congratulations to you for being a new mother um, with all that lovely mom nurturing energy. Okay. So uh, who is Sagittarius thinking of for May 2023? Who are they thinking of? Who is their person? What energy does their person have that they are thinking of? Now, remember, this could be anybody in your life. Okay. Sister, mother, brother, lover, um, boyfriend could be father, of course. Um, anybody in your life, someone you work with. Okay. A friend. So we will find out who is this person that Sagittarius is thinking of in May. Who is their person? Please angels, guides, and ancestors. Who is this person for Sagi Sag? Two more shuffles. One, two. Your person, their energy is two of wands. Okay, so someone that is just observing life at the moment, taking stock. Um, just observing things from an inside view. So uh, usually um, you'll see them inside their house, possibly not going out very much. They're taking stock. They're observing their life, um, their life purpose, possibly uh, ready to make a change of some kind. OK, so weighing up different areas of their life, thinking about things, uh, concluding on new ideas. Um, something that's important to them is to just sort of be in their own company and just take stock of the worldview around them, how they fit into it. Also uh, making a plan. Okay. So just sort of resonating with that energy to conclude on what they're going to do next in life. Okay. Your feelings towards them. 
So they could be feeling conflicted about some something. So they draw back to observe um, what's going on around them. Or it's just they're wanting new energy. They're needing to um, size up a situation to really just observe what's happening around them or within them internally. Okay, so their feelings, um, your feelings towards your person. We have three here. Or feelings towards their person. Sagittarius's person. How does Sag feel towards their person? For May energy, how are they feeling towards their person? For May, please, angels, guides, ancestors, I thank you. One card. How are they feeling towards their person? How does Sagittarius feel towards their person? Two more shuffles. Never mind. Okay, so you are feeling towards your person that they are um, very abundant in their nature, um, also very independent in the nature that they bring forth, okay? So they're able to se secure a happy home, um, one that is of substance, security, uh, one that offers wealth, of course, abundance. Uh, this is a very successful card. So you feel about your person that they are very independent in their energy, and they cultivate their garden. They're very free. Um, they can do whatever they want um, within the day because they have all the pentacles to um, either give or to bestow onto their family, their friends, their loved ones, and also to keep creating. So they're very creative in their endeavors. Um, they're very much about uh, creating substance, security, abundance. Okay, very independent is what the nine of pentacles is, that is how you're feeling towards your person. They're very independent and you may feel like, wow, that's great. I love that my person is so independent, able to care for herself in her home or himself and his home, okay? You're also feeling towards them the seven of cups, okay? So this is illusionary fantasy. So maybe you have fantasies at this time about your person, maybe um, illusions that are coming up Okay, there is all these options, okay, that the Nine of Pentacles energy has. Your person, you're feeling, okay, so they have all this bounty. They're successful in what they are able to create. Um, and you're wondering about them. You're thinking about them. Which cup are they going to choose, possibly? Um, they have a lot of options is what you're feeling, okay? Options in luck. Cups is luck. So that is how you're feeling towards your person. But they have a lot of options. Um, of course, this is illusion and fantasy. So this is something that you may be resonating with or thinking about, about your person or towards your person. Your thoughts of them right now is three of cups. So celebrating. So you may be celebrating with your person this weekend on Mother's Day, um, or you're needing to celebrate more with your person. Or that's just something that you like to do. As a Sagittarius, you're the travelers of the Zodiac. You like to meet new people, especially celebrations when there is people coming together. So your thoughts right now are um, coming together with friends and family. And you're excited about that energy. Okay. Sag, what actions will Sag take? Too many, thank you. So oftentimes, uh, three of cups shows up when there is a third party. Third party could be anybody. It could be, um, you know, mother-in-law energy or someone coming into a relationship that causes a stir of some kind. Okay, it could be anything. Third uh, party could be something to do with work, taking over, um, you know, and too much at work, not enough play for celebration. So take it as it resonates, but it is a celebratory card of people coming together what actions will Sag take towards their person that they are thinking of in May? May energy, what are they going to take actions towards? What actions will they take for Sagittarius energy? Sagittarius, thank you. So eight of wands, fast communication, okay? Moving forward fast in um, action, okay? Either communicating very quickly 
Um, this could be documents. This could be emails, any form of communication or action moving towards your person very, very quickly. Okay, taking action quickly, whether in terms of communication or actually movement, physical movement towards your person. What obstacles does Sagittarius have? So you have ideas that you're needing to celebrate and you may want to move fast towards celebrations. Okay. Or just fast acting communication in general. Phone calls. Look at your emails. Watch your emails as well. Okay, so the obstacles right now, uh, two cards dropped for you. So the obstacles in the way and the challenge is are two of pentacles. Okay, so weighing up the pros and cons is the challenge. Deciding what is the deciding factors, what's what forces are um, creating indecision in your life. Okay, so the, that is the obstacle for you and your person. And then six of swords. Uh, moving on to something different. Okay, this is um, often escape card because it is the sword suit. Okay, it is heavy energy. Uh, the obstacle in the way is moving on to something new. Okay, it is desired. It could be moving towards someone or away from someone. It's fleeing energy, but it's also moving towards someone very fast, it seems like, and having to decide, am I going to move forward to my person or to that energy, but you are having a hard time deciding that this is weighing at the pros and cons. Should I, shouldn't I? Something to do with pence. Okay. So wealth abundance, you're wanting to create that. Okay. So you're weighing up um, your side you're, and you're also, um, they are also with the two of wands uh, sizing up the situation as well are you in your obstacle, but you're having a hard time. It seems like coming to a solution. Okay. We're going to get advice from our angel guides and ancestors for Sagittarius about this energy, the obstacle in the way advice for Sag. 12, 12 is just on the timer. That could be significant for you in terms of angel numbers or numerology. 12, 12, you may want to check that out. What that means advice from spirit for Sag, please. One card, please. Thank you. Angels, guides, ancestors. One card, advice from angel guides, ancestors for Sagittarius. Any advice about the six of swords moving something, moving beyond something, or two of pentacles? Thank you. Okay, advice from spirit to overcome this feeling of um, possible curiosity. It could be, um, you know, wondering, juggling things, maybe too much work um, is happening. So juggling a workload. And also we have the obstacle again, a six of swords, leaving energy um, onto something new, having to leave, but deciding it's time to leave. Okay. Your advice from spirit is ace of cups. So fresh new energy in love for you is the advice. So not to worry, okay, about anything because there is fresh new love coming in for you, okay? So And also celebrations with the three of cups above that. Okay, so ace of cups, fresh new love divinely given from the universe coming for you, which will help ease any indecision and also... The feeling of wanting to move on to something different. What does Sagittarius want to see happen in this situation? Thank you. So you would like even give and take, okay? Something uh, given uh, freely and received freely and even energy of pentacles, okay? So that's giving and receiving energy. So giving and receiving need to be in balance. Again, we have a balance card here and here. Okay, so making sure that things are fair in giving and receiving. Sometimes we're not able to receive. Some people, many, uh, I am one of them, that it's very hard for me to receive. I'm much more of a giver. So when the Six of Pence comes up, making sure what you want to see happen is that things are distributed evenly, things are fair in terms of pentacles. Also, what you want to see happen is two of cups for you and your person, whoever you're thinking of in May or during this video. 
And also you want to see the lovers. Okay. So you're wanting to see love and also fresh new love does come in for you and you will be seeing that towards the end of May. Okay. Feel towards the end of May, two cups, two people coming together in love and it's divinely given the lovers. Okay. So the energy we have on the board, a lot of Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, the lovers is Gemini. Um, of course, Aries, Leo, Sag. And of course, with Pentacles, Virgo, um, Taurus, and Capricorn. Okay. And also with the Six of Swords, of course, Libra, Aquarius, and Gemini. All right. So everybody's on the phone. All right. Okay. So for Sagittarius' person, your person has the Two of Wands energy. Okay. Scoping out the scene, <laughs> scoping out the what lays before them. Okay, really just um, dwelling on things or uh, creating new um, ways to take action in life. Okay, okay. So the way that they are, who they are, is the two of wands to you. But what they are thinking of about you is anxious, okay, and worrisome. So either you or them are feeling a sense of anxiety, um, fear, doubt, okay, this is illusionary, this is stuck energy, it's just an entanglement in our mind, it's created from our mind, doesn't mean that it's actually so. It's sometimes at night we worry about things that we don't often worry about during the day. So it could be a depressed energy, someone you're thinking of could be depressed and anxious, full of worry. That is how their energy resonates towards you. That's how you will know them. Also, Ten of Swords, their feelings towards you now, um, letting you know that the Ten of Swords came up, which is right after the Nine of Swords. The pain is over. Any conflict, any hurt, pain, sorrow, depression, anxiousness, it is over. Anything from the past is now over. So um, cutting ties, that's just moving on with new energy. Um, there is no more that can be with Ten of Swords. That is the end of hurt, pain, sorrow, depression, the end of it. So that is good news when that shows up, especially after the Nine of Swords. So that is their energy. What are their thoughts towards Sagittarius? So possibly you may have been worried about a friend or family loved one, um, about any anything to do with their hurt or pain that they've endured. Just know that, yes, it is over. They were able to deal with it somehow. Um, and yeah, and the energy also with karmic, this is karmic energy. So 10 times being hurt, no matter who it is, what energy it is, 10 times being stabbed in the back. Um, basically, uh, angels or guardian angels or ancestors will step in and say, okay, that is enough um, pain and hurt. So just know that is over. Okay, and so now we get to begin with a fresh new start. That would come next, usually, in tarot, as it goes. Thoughts towards Sage right now. What are their thoughts towards Sage? Thank you. So, Nine of Wands. Yes, there's a lot of battling energy within this person. They have battled. They have fought the good fight, whatever that is, to your person. Okay, they have battled. There's been wounds. These are karmic lessons, Nine Karmic lessons could come up as soul contracts, love partners, people that they have met along the way. Um, so they have learned these lessons of the Nine of Wands in behind them. They're coming out of the battle. This is the wounded warrior. But as you can see, she's standing very strongly. We also had the Nine of what was it? Pentacles with your person. So just know that, uh, yeah, the battle is over. Um, and she's coming out victorious, even though wounded, scarred, um, hurt. As we saw again with the Ten of uh, Swords and Nine of Swords energy, she's coming out of that, um, you know, ready to stand on her own two feet, ready to move forward from that energy. She's learned all that she needed to learn uh, from these karmic lessons, and she's ready to move forward fearlessly, okay, and willingly, okay, even though that she has maybe scars from the Ten of Swords, she's able to carry on and move on. So that's good news for your person. And then also their thoughts uh, towards you right now. Sagittarius is justice. So any questions in terms of contracts, 
um, anything to do with the law, the judicial system. I was calling it the judicial syndrome for a while because of Mercury retrograde, but justice. Okay. So their thoughts right now towards you is yes, there is justice, um, on their side. So whatever person you're thinking of at this time, justice is on their side. So, um, you could be happy to know that for your person, the actions they will take towards Sag. Looks like they've been through a lot <laughs> and you're wanting to celebrate. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, putting those back. Well, these two seem like they want to come out. Okay. Actions they will take. Yeah, again, they're very victorious. This is victory. This is um, applause, awards, public recognition. They've been um, victorious. This is the nine. So coming out of a war, able to move on, but just know that they have been victorious. Um, they have fought the good fight. This is coming back from the war. People giving applause as they would um, when they have won the war, War, as I say in olden day times, I hope. Um, so whatever they were dealing with, they have been victorious. This is someone that's high biz. And the actions they will take. Okay, so this could be um, someone that um, is in the public eye um, and they are victorious with their pursuits, things they want to um, pursue in life. They have been successful. Awards, public recognition, um, your person's energy, the actions they will take is applauded and they are victorious. Okay, I feel like that has something to do with the justice system since it came after that okay the obstacles in the way just like you saw with their uh, with their energy the two of wands the obstacles in the way is um what's next okay after a nine of wands ten of swords nine of swords okay coming back in victory they're they've scoped out the land just like you saw them do with their energy with the first card we drew with the two of wands now they're thinking okay what am i doing next what's next on what am i going to be you know, um, achieving next. This is also sh their ships coming in, things that they've been waiting for. You see f the fruitful wands there and they're ready to take off. Okay. They're ready to go something new, something different, but they've been working hard at it. It seems, and they put the plans in place. They've drawn up the blueprints. They've taken time with the two of wands to figure out their next move. Now they know what it is. The ships are coming in. So their dreams and desires, they're going after, they're going to um, pursue those. And they are going to be, again, victorious. So that's good news for your person and you. Okay, advice from spirit, but that is in their obstacle. Okay, so possibly because you had... Um, six of swords in your obstacle, moving forward, energy, needing to leave, wanting to leave, or just leaving towards something new. There's also is, okay, what's next? Their obstacle is they want to be ready for whatever is next on their journey. And they're starting a new journey that is in their obstacle. Advice from spirit. Thank you. Queen of wands. So they are your person is male, female, doesn't matter. It's masculine, fem feminine energy. So this could be a male, could be a female. The advice from spirit to overcome their challenges of three of wands. They're ready to take off. They're ready to start a new journey. They're wanting to be victorious. Queen of wands. So they're drawing up the queen of wands energy. The queen of wands is Leo Sagittarius. So your person has that energy maybe in their chart, or maybe they're feeling a, a sense of the queen of wands. Okay. This is the most glorious uh, queen in the deck, the most um, appreciated, the most um, uh, applauded as well. Very generous. She's very giving. She stands her ground when she needs to. She could be nasty when she needs to. She doesn't like to be. She has a lot of fiery passion for whatever it is that she does. So this is all about desires and passions. But as a queen, she has tamed her passions. She has tamed her desires and she has tamed her fiery nature. She is the most um, loved uh, tarot 
as a queen in the deck, most loved queen. Okay. Um, people adore her. She gives advice um, about passions, dreams, desires. She knows how to make things happen. You see here, she's sitting with a cat and sunflowers. So she's very comfortable um, in her passion, her pursuits. Okay. Fiery energy. So very generous though, giving. Okay, but she knows when to also draw that back. Okay, and what does your person want to see happen between you and them? So that is right under the justice card. So the queen of wands is very alluring. Um, that is something they could think of you as the queen of wands as well. Maybe you both share that in common. They may be thinking about um, you as the queen of wands. Okay, take it as it resonates. What do they want to see happen in this partnership, this union within these partners? Or May, what does Sagittarius person want to see happen? Seems like there's a lot of love for you. Um, yeah, the Queen of Wands, she can celebrate. Um, she knows about all that fiery passion and desire and where to put that when she does celebrate. So she's very good at celebrating life, um, very nurturing as well. Okay. What does Sagittarius person want to see happen? So remember to hit that like button if it is resonating uh, with you, this reading. Um, just know when you do, it puts your energy in the channel. When you subscribe, you win a free half an hour reading with me. What does Sag person want to see happen? Two more shuffles. One. King of Cups. Okay, so they uh, want to see with you King of Cups. So that's a very strong uh, king, one that has mastered his love space. He knows how to care for people surrounding him. He knows how to care for his love cup. He knows how to care for himself. Also, he's very, um, he could be guarded with his energy. You see, he's on an island here. Okay, he's not going anywhere with his um, cup, but he will make sure that um, no one infringes upon, for lack of a better um, meaning or statement, no one infringes upon his love. Okay, nobody disturbs his peace, his love, um, honoring his love cup. He's very good at honoring his love space, but he will make sure that whoever he does choose to love, that they will take care of him as well. He's very experienced in love. So he wants to make sure that whoever's loving him is going to do so in a nurturing, um, healing and healthy way. So that is what the King of uh, Cups is about. He has mastered his love cup. So he knows who to love. He also knows who um, to sort of not allow in his space to love. To love him. So he doesn't just offer his cup to anybody. He's very choosy and picky when it comes to his love because he's obviously as an experienced king, he would have been hurt before, which it looks like on their end they have been. So they're very protective of that love space, but they will be open for the right people. Okay. So what connects these two energies together for Sagittarius and their person? What's connecting these energies together? What connects these two energies together? Okay, five of wands. Okay, so what connects you both together is possibly that you've both felt conflict. Um, you both felt um, in your environment or internally a sense of people fighting. This is anger. This is aggression, uh, conflict. Okay. So things that have caused you both conflict is what connects you. So possibly you're able to speak about that, um, possibly move forward beyond that, but that's what is connecting you both. That's the forces that are connecting you both is the five of wands, which could be internal conflict or could be in the surrounding environment. Okay. Final outcome for these energies, Sagittarius and their person. What is 
excuse me, the final outcome for Sag, did I say Aries? Sagittarius and their person. Final outcome is temp temperance. Okay, so that is your energy. Healing. Healing, grounding, finding balance, especially if conflict has um, connected you both in some way, that energy. Finding the time to heal, finding a place for solitude, um, really breathing in life and, you know, being grateful, uh, finding anything um, that will help you heal and really penetrating on healing energy. So things that help you heal. It's different for everybody, I'm sure. For me, um, it's meditation, um, you know, going out in nature, of course, and also tranquil times. Being peaceful is the final outcome. Okay, so temperance, it takes time to heal. You see that she's she's not worried about the time. She's an angel as well. And this is your card, a nice rainbow in the background. So really taking time to heal, putting the, your intent to heal anything between you or yourself, uh, Sagittarius, um, on your own, since that is Sagittarius heart. So taking the time to heal. Okay. And that is one of the most loving things that we can do for ourselves is to offer self-love, self-care, um, listening to music, celebrating is a form of healing as well. Okay, so healing energies is the final outcome. Anything else for Sagittarius? Anything else for Sagittarius or their person that they are thinking about for May? Again, it's uh, one eleven on my clock, so you might want to check out what one 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 means in angel numbers or in numerology. One 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 we had in twelve twelve. Okay. Anything else for Sagittarius and their person? No, doesn't seem like there is. Anything else? No. Okay, I'm going to clarify. First of all, um, I'm going to clarify. Oh dear. Um, the Nine of Swords with the Nine of Wands and the Ten of Swords or Sagittarius person or Sagittarius person. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Okay. So again, we have the Five of Wands. That's double confirmation of the Five of Wands. You see it twice. Okay, so they have battled. Okay, that's confirming the message that they have battled. They were dealing with conflict. Um, you know, of course, with any conflict, there is conflict resolution. And just know that throughout their nine of swords, nine of wands, ten of swords, your person, they have had hope. Okay, so there has been someone... To offer them hope, possibly that was you, Sagittarius, offering your friend or family or loved one, your partner, hope. So saying to you, you have given me hope to injure. Okay, so that is um, for your person. And then the Ten of Swords, we're going to clarify. So possibly you have offered them hope or they have found hope within to injure and to overcome any pain conflict. It seems like there has been quite a bit. All right. So again, very similar. Ten of swords for your person. That's their thoughts towards you. Ten of swords. Pain is over. Letting you know the pain is over. And also what's important to them is just like uh, it was for you. Was it your six of pentacles? Okay. That was in what you want to see happen. Because the pain is over, I'm clarifying the ten of swords. They also, um, because there is equal give and take, um, giving and receiving in balance, that has helped them put uh, the Ten of Swords behind them. Okay, that energy behind them. And then again, you have double confirmation again, Eight of Wands. That's the actions you will take, fast action. 
they also have what's helped. Oh, I can show you this card. What's also helped them is um, eight of wands. So if you were taking action steps or communicating towards them taking quick action, that has also helped them move from that energy, the Ten of Swords, as long as well as the equal give and take. Okay. We're going to clarify the five of wands connecting you. That's what connects you and your person. So um, combativeness, um, angry words, possibly, but there is temperance, the result of all of this healing, and which is healing energy. So five of wands for Sagittarius is present. Sagittarius person and Sag, connecting energy. Five of Wands, Five of Wands, why is the Five of Wands here? Thank you. Angels, Guides, Ancestors, why is the Five of Wands here connecting these energies together? Five of Wands. Okay. Okay, so, good. What's connected you both is uh, conflict somehow, drama, um, people arguing, people fighting, not sure why, um, but what has helped you and your person in this connection is the Ten of Cups. Okay, so um, a lot of love, okay, um, has been brought into their life and yours. Okay, that's what's connecting you. A lot of love in, with the Ten of Cups. That's the most love you can feel. So going from the Ten of Swords to feeling a lot of love between you both, that is excellent energy as well as the Temperance. And then what has helped, again, we have the Six of Swords here moving on, leaving sight. Um, and then we have the Fool energy here. Okay, so just knowing that a new adventure, taking a leap of faith in a new direction, um, doing something different, a new journey of some kind has helped your person. Okay, so a new journey, a new element of life. Um, a new direction in life. Okay, that fool's journey is light on their feet and bouncing into something unknown. Um, that is also Aries energy. Okay, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, making sure that there is celebration. The trickster shows up. There's four extra cards in this deck. This is the wandering spirit and the creator of the deck put four extra cards in there. One already came out as hope. So um, making sure that you are celebrating Sagittarius, this little trickster shows up to make sure that there's going to be fun no matter what. And she'll do things in a tricky way just to make sure that everyone's having fun. Okay. She's all about fun. So if there is conflict, 10 of swords, which we've seen, this one will show up and make sure that everybody's having fun and she'll do it in fun ways. Okay. So I'm going to draw your Oracle card for you, which is from the Moon Oracle from Earthly Souls and Spirits. So this is your you versus them reading. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated. If it did, hit the like button. That really does help my Allegra rhythm. And they already have messages for you. Wonderful. Okay, so they're wanting me to shorten my video. So uh, the angels are helping me do so magical so the earthly souls and spirits moon oracle wants to let you know that life can be magical okay to look at the magic within you um to look at um the magic surrounding you also knowing that you can create anything you want in life okay whether it's um you know dreaming of something you always wanted to do manifesting that of course you can um, this is magical energy. So put your manifestations forth. Be very intentional on your manifestations. Think positive about them and they will manifest. Okay. So you have that. You also have abundance. So if you're wanting to create abundance, um, the mag the magical um, card here in the Oracle shows up to say, yes, you can create uh, abundance in your life, okay? That's just putting your intent on what it is you want to create, putting the plans in place and um, not just thinking about it. It, it. You need to put action into it. It's not just thinking about abundance. It's putting your efforts towards the abundance you want to create. And remember, abundance could mean something different to everybody. So abundance could be in terms of friendship, family, 
um, their job. They love their job and they're feeling abundant and they're happy. Okay. So when we're at our happiest, when we're feeling joy, when we're feeling gratitude, we're able to manifest. That is one wonderful way to manifest is to be grateful. So abundance is coming in whatever form. And then we have fulfillment. There's a lot of fulfillment around you, a lot of love. We see that uh, there's celebrations to come, healing energy, and you are fe uh, feeling fulfilled in your efforts towards creating a beautiful journey for yourself and others. Beautiful messages for you from the Earthly Souls and Spirit Moon Oracle. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Thank you for watching Tease Tarot. Thanks for being here. Your you versus them reading. I hope it helped in some way. Leave the comments below if you like. I love reading comments. I'll respond as soon as possible. Number 40th in comments will win a free hour reading with me. So if you feel so inclined to do so. Um, and I will see you next time on Tease Tarot. Thanks, Sagittarius, for being here. I appreciate you. Grateful for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. And I'll see you next time on Tease Tarot. Thanks.